So without further ado, Dr. McLean was born in High Ridge, Missouri. Uh, he went to the University of Missouri and he went to medical school in Missouri, I believe Missouri State, and then went to University of Missouri for medical school. He did his residency training uh, in University of Vermont and followed up with a dermatopathology fellowship at NYU, New York University in New York City under the renowned Dr. Bernie Ackerman, who's like a world famous dermatopathologist. From there, he went to University Hospital at Stony Brook. In 1993, he came on staff at Stony Brook and that's where I first met him. He was the dermatopathologist for the, for the University Hospital Pathology Laboratory. He worked there, I'm gonna say probably five years and then he went off to Montefiore Hospital in the Bronx where he was the director of dermatopathology there as well. And then in 2004, he opened up McLean Laboratories and Dr. McLean, since then, we've been open since 2004. He's authored over 100 publications. He's got um, interest in melanoma, in wound healing. Um, he loves photography. That's our claim to fame, how Dr. McLean separates himself from others. He photographs every single specimen that comes into our laboratory. And um, we also pride ourselves on uh, all of his research work that he does with the hospital at Stony Brook still. And he's still an adjunct professor of emergency medicine and dermatology at Stony Brook University Hospital. Yes, yeah, so we are very grateful and blessed uh, for Dr. McLean going into the private world because it's been a great ride and we're approaching, uh, you know, 20 years in 2024. So I'm super pumped. What led me to pathology? Um, I, I, thought that was the um, the most fabulous course in the first two years of medical school and then chose to do an extra year of post-sophomore fellowship in pathology. And um, that was just loads of fun. It was, it was science, it was teaching, um, had a certain number of lectures we had to do. And, and uh, I thought that was just the, the, uh, the best part of the surgical team to be on. I, I, uh, I like it because it's uh, it's visual. It's uh, there's there's things that are pretty about even though it's some horrible diseases. Sometimes there's a certain beauty. Uh, there's a beauty to fungal diseases. All of a sudden, I had this realization that diabetic foot ulcer was a way bigger problem than melanoma. It it killed far more people. It it incapacitated far more people, and you know melanoma was a 200,000 case a year kind of problem for the U.S. And, and diabetic foot ulcer is more like a 1.5 or 2 million or maybe even more uh, problem and with a 50% mortality. And I was like, wow, all of a sudden my mission in life became clear. It's like, who else is a pathologist who studied all these wounds in animals you know, why is the human wound so much different and why are they such a problem? So that's what, what led me uh, to podiatry. Uh, and uh, what I've discovered is that podiatrists are some of the best wound healers in the, in the world, in the country, in the county, uh, all around me. And, uh, and that's what led me towards uh, podiatry. Uh, I thought I could make a difference. It's, it's been a fun ride. We, one of the things that separates us is that we I spend we spend a lot of our effort in academic work or scientific work. Well, uh, we're privately owned. This is my private practice. Um, I have a new associate joining me in August, so that's a, a good thing. But we have um, uh, a, a very uh, capable staff, uh, and we um, I, I think the the photographs and things reinforce that we have a method that we operate by. And and when in doubt, we take more photographs and and turn it around. Sometimes turning it around in your mind to get to the the proper view on this thing. Oh, I didn't know what the dark side of the moon looked like. You know, <laughs> uh, maybe that's not a good example. But sometimes in turning it around and and through our photography or uh, multiple studies, we can we can get to an answer. So part of it is. Uh, we don't stop until we found the answer. What sets us apart? I think it's our people, our, our service. Uh, so I would say service is our, our big, uh, you know, Kim and Carol and Paul Langer all, you know, do their best to 
here I am. Here's my cell number. Don't be afraid to call me. And, you know, you can call me about a fungal toenail. You can call me about an ingrown. If there's something that doesn't make sense to you, call me. And I want to break down those barriers because people, you know, the podiatrists and the dermatologists should feel like they're, they're, uh, you know, we're their pathologists, you know, team, un team. until, until they're satisfied, we haven't completed our job. I'm happy. I, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing in life. I'm in the right niche. I can help people. You know, if my sister needs a job, I can hire her. If <laughs> Kim's daughter needs a job, I can hire her. We can start scholarship programs for employees. So we have a great team and they, they like working for us and they understand the mission. And so they, each of them becomes what, even my sister has had sort of medical training now. She knows how to answer some common questions for podiatrists. Join the McLean Labs team on September 1st, 2020, uh, with the intent of being the Midwest representative. I live in St. Louis and that's a story too, because that's our hometown, you know, uh, but uh, with the intent of growing uh, the Midwest. And uh, I think so far I've been, I have been very successful obtaining new clients in St. Louis and Kansas and parts of Illinois. And um, we can service any doctor anywhere in the U.S. What are things people could think about? Uh, things that uh, they've never seen before. I would say you see something, wow, that I've never, what the heck is that? You know, if that idea forms in your mind, biopsy it and then we'll know. Um, you, you do, and uh, so all kinds of things, you know, we, on the average, the Mayo Clinic study showed that they were three millimeters deep. Well, almost by that time, 50% of those patients can be expected to die right from their melanoma. And if they caught it early, this is how we prevent melanoma deaths is by biopsying and, and excising it early. Because if once you wait till it invades, they're going to lose their toe. If you biopsy early and excise it, they can keep their toe. And the big toe is so important to, you can't run without your big toe. I think that we can make a difference in that. Uh, maybe not in my lifetime, but, you know, I'm hoping to practice a few more years. So we can start on it. We can make some improvement. Uh, if Kim were here, she would probably say, when in doubt, cut it out. You know? yeah. if, you're, if you have a question, this is how pathologists answer questions is with tissue. So you send me a sample. I can do much more. I can do things, a lot of testing with a sample. You send me a picture. I'll say, yeah, it looks ugly or, you know, probably you can leave it alone but or biopsy. But when in doubt, biopsy. This is how we learn things. This is how we, you know, this is how you buy it, how you find early melanoma and prove it. So when in doubt, cut it out. Uh, for ulcers, I would say debride until it bleeds because bleeding is a good thing. You've got to clean all that out and you need to injure the tissue below because when you injure, the cells begin to heal. So you, you have to injure somewhat below. That's what I've learned out of 30 years of wound studies. Thank you.